What's going on YouTube? This is Daybreak748 coming back at you guys with another video. And as you guys can pretty much tell from the title of this video, once again it's about time to do another toy haul. Now, super stoked about this one. Why? Because first of all, it's my first toy haul for the year 2016, which is awesome. And secondly, I was able to get some awesome figures that I've been anticipating for a very long period of time. Now, I've got two major packages, and they're from uh, one of my favorite, I guess, companies to purchase figures from. Uh, the first one being, obviously, AmiAmi for all my import items, my Figmas, my scale figures, uh, prize figures, you name it they have it all and the second company is one from here from the states and it is big bad toy store where i pick up all my sh figure arts my dc stuff and all that good stuff so yeah let's get to it so first i will show you uh, the items that i picked up from big bad toy store now something i really do like about big bad toy store they have huge variety and if you're new to the collecting world then yeah this is definitely a website you want to go check out because they have a feature called pile of loot and all this other good stuff and every single time you purchase something from them uh, they give you this little card that showcases some awesome items that you might be interested in so that's pretty cool all right so enough of the promoting of big bad toy store let's let's get on with the toy haul so as you guys saw in my uh what's it called my christmas haul i am uh, currently collecting the dc icons line so when i saw that these figures were supposed to come out in like late december slash uh january i got i had to have it so here we go the first item i picked up the icons flash loving all the accessories that he's coming with um so far i don't know a lot of people uh not a lot but some people are really just down on this i guess this set these set of figures but honestly speaking, I don't understand why because I think uh, DC Comics or collectibles, they're doing a great job with these figures. I really am digging him a lot. So uh, I got Dead Man, I got Green Arrow, Green Lantern, Hal Jordan, and Batman so far. And I've been impressed with all four of those so far. So um, honestly speaking, I'm not sure why. I know the scale is a little small, but it's a different line. So who cares? But anyways... Yeah, got the Flash figure. Alright, moving on with another Icons. We have Black Adam. So that's pretty cool. Up next, we have Blue Beetle. And to finish up the DC Icons stuff, we have Lex Luthor. So that's pretty cool. So those four items, can't wait to get these guys out of package. Moving on to some awesome SH Figure Arts DBZ line. We have not one, but two Super Saiyan, or not, yeah, I guess Super Saiyan, Son Goku, and this is the Awakened version. Uh, really stoked about this. I'm really digging the packaging. Uh, I really did enjoy the pixelated version of it, but this looks pretty cool as well. So can't wait to open up one of these bad boys and see what this guy's all about. So got two of those. And that's pretty much it for all the items I picked up from BBTS. So let's move on to now AmiAmi. So AmiAmi, here we go. We have this nice little postcard that you get from them and just a little thank you for shopping postcard. So uh, the cool thing with AmiAmi, they have these mascot characters and uh, throughout each season they like to change up their like postcards. So this one I think is new if I'm not mistaken. Um, I might be lying to you but I think this is the first time I'm seeing this, so there you have it. All right. One thing with AmiAmi, you get a ton of 
package paper, so yeah, it's a lot. But let's get on to the figures. So we'll start off with the Figmas, and here we go. Starting off, we have, I don't know how you pronounce that, it's O-O-I, I think. I could be completely wrong here. But anyways, we have another girl from the hit series Kantai Collection, or Can Kolai. Looking pretty awesome. So she's going to go nicely with this one right here. And this one I got from Christmas, but just haven't had the time to open it. So that's that. So I got her. We got some more Figmas. Not one. But two, Asana from ALO, so that's pretty awesome. Uh, I saw some reviews of her already. She looks pretty freaking epic. Um, I know they're going to be releasing Lifa and Kirito for ALO versions, so that's pretty awesome. Can't wait. Super excited about that as well. All right, moving on to some scale figures. So. Um, we have one figure from the company Genko or Genko. Now, you guys probably saw a figure review of the Yuki from Genko, and I was not a big fan. Um, and honestly speaking, I completely forgot that I pre-ordered this figure, and I didn't even realize who um, the manufacturers were. It was Genko or Genko, so yeah. Uh, but I gotta say, this one, I'm looking inside and there doesn't seem to be that big of a base. It's a, once again, a clear base from what I can tell, but um, it's not that bad, so quite liking it. And look at this. this, this packaging is so small, I like it, it's so cute. But anyways, we have a Hestia scale figure right here super stoked about this now quick little note about genko or genko whatever this company's name is they do an amazing job with the sculpt the painting um, but their bases are hideous now like i said i hope yuki was just a fluke you know what as a matter of fact i don't know if this thing even comes with a base to be honest with you i don't see a base in there um, but we'll see when we unpackage her. So, uh, yeah, quite excited about this figure. Uh, if it doesn't have a base and the pillow is her base, then that's perfectly fine with me. I do not mind that at all. So we have her. So we'll put her over there. And the last figure that I picked up for this haul is none other than... You ready? Bam! I think her name's like Akasuki, and she is from one of my favorite animes, Log Horizon. Now, if you guys are a huge fan of like SAO and stuff like that, Sword Art Online, or like, uh, yeah, Sword Art Online, Excel World, stuff like that, then this is a definite character that you will fall in love with too. Um, she is one of the main characters from the hit series Log Horizon. This is by Aquamarine. Um, sadly to say, I think from Log Horizon, this is the first scale figure to ever be released for that particular anime. Why? I have no idea. Uh, I personally would have thought that with the success of the Season 1 and having the Season 2 for Log Horizon, they would be pumping out more figures from this line. But... I guess not. Uh, they haven't got any. Fi they haven't gotten any Figma versions of these characters or anything. This, like I said, is the first scale figure, so that's pretty crazy. Hopefully, they get some more love after uh, this first release. So there you guys have it, guys. That is my haul from the past couple of weeks, and so there you have it. Guys, thank you so much for stopping by once again. Uh, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Uh, this is what I do. Um, collect figures, review figures, discussions, all that stuff, toy hauls. So um, if you like what you see, please hit that like button, subscribe. And uh, yeah, tell me what you guys think of my haul. And there is that. Guys, once again, thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Um... I will have more content for you guys coming up very, very soon. Uh, more figure reviews, all that good stuff. So, yeah, that's that. 
Thanks for watching. This is Daybreak748. I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.